Hello everyone and welcome to the second Doodle Time. Now, it really looks like you enjoyed the first one because the trainers, the funky footwear that I have seen so far that you've posted on hashtag Doodle Time on my Instagram has been amazing. The response has been phenomenal. So thank you so much for sending in all your doodles. They are fantastic. Keep up the good work. Now today, we are going to draw a super sausage dog on a skateboard. Now that was such a good idea. See, if you send in your ideas, we may just draw them. So this was based on an idea that someone sent in right at the beginning of Doodle Time. So get your paper, get your pencils, get some colours, maybe get a snack and a drink as well and sit down for the next 10 or so minutes as we learn to draw our super sausage dog on a skateboard. So we're going to draw our cool sausage dog. Now we're going to start with his head and we're going to start around here. We need to leave space for his cool skateboard down here. And he's going to be quite long. So we're drawing it what's called as landscape. If we were drawing it this way, it'd be portrait. But we're drawing it this way. Long ways is landscape. So that's a little lesson for the day in doodle time. So we're going to start with his head up here. We're going to draw a round shape. We're going to go along to his nose, like that. Then we're going to draw down and round into a smile shape. Then we're going to draw down and out. His mouth is nice and wide open. Then we're going to do a loopy line down and round like that. Okay. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go back here and we're going to draw his ears because his ears overlap this line. So we don't want to draw this line down or else we'll have to go over it. So because he is speeding along at a rate of knots, he's got these long, cool, funny, flappy ears coming out like that. And then we can draw the rest of our head. There you see, or else it would have looked a little bit messy. Now what we've got to do is do a long line from down here down. This is going to be the sausage dog's back, so it's going to go down and round and all the way, as long as your paper will go, but leave some room at the end around there and come round. <laughs> now you can tell it's a sausage dog, can't you? Then what we're going to do, we're going to add his tail. His tail is flailing out in the speedy wind. He's going so fast. You must think of a name for your sausage dog as well. Remember, I'm going to show you a basic version of a sausage dog. Then I'm going to do my doodles, my doodle time, and then it's your time to doodle. Right, let's add his collar anyway, because all dogs need a collar. We don't want our dogs to go missing, do we? Especially if they're speeding away on a skateboard. So let's add a cool collar, and I'm going to add a medallion dangling off so we're going to know what his name is. I'm going to call mine, hmm, I don't know, mine's Speedy Sausage so I'm going to call my dog Speedy. So I'm going to put an S on his collar there. Right, what should we do next? Let's start adding his paws. So from this point here we need to come down a little bit because sausage dogs only have little legs don't they and then do a curve shape there. You can see that's going to be his foot and do a little line there to make his paws and then draw a long and up like that. There we go. Now it's really starting to like sausage dog. Should we add his face? That'd be a good idea. Just a little line makes his nose. Three little dots next to it. And then we're going to add his eye. Let's give him quite a big eye because I think he's feeling quite exhilarated at this speed that he's going at and give him a little surprise little eyebrow as well. And then I think he can be looking at us like, what? What's going on? And again, I think he's so happy. And have you seen dogs sometimes stick their heads out the windows in cars? They like to lap up the wind, I think, don't they? They love the speed. So there we go. He's loving his life right now, isn't he? Okay, let's now do the back paw and then we're going to do the tricky bit, which is his tummy underneath. So again, from here, draw down and round and down. We need to try and line these up so his feet will go neatly on the skateboard. 
In fact, to make sure we do that, let's draw the top line of the skateboarding now. So it will come from here, go under his foot, and then draw a straight line underneath. But then the skateboard goes up at the end like that. Now we know, oh, I guessed quite well. Now we know where his hind leg has got to go. I like to call that the hind leg maneuver. <clears throat> Sorry for the jokes, kids. Uh, so let's draw another shape like that and another one like that. That's his back paw. And then do a nice curved line coming round like that. He's got chunky back legs. And then that makes it easier because all we need to do is draw a swooping going slightly up at the end towards his bum there. There, that's our basic sausage shape. It just makes me laugh. Sausage dogs just really make me laugh. What we could do, because you speed off to skateboard, so I might bring his high, other hind leg up and round like this. So he's got his hind leg round like that. So draw his paw shape, but coming up, because he's just whooshed off from the ground. And then here, let's draw his front paw coming up and round as well. Like that, brilliant. Okay, now, instead of drawing the rest of the skateboard underneath, what we're going to do is draw the wheels first. So draw a wheel around here, I think. I'm not a skateboard expert, but I think they have wheels, don't they? <laughs> and then draw another one under his foot around here. Make them as circular as you can, so they look like wheels, so it looks like they'll go round. And then you can draw this bit. See, break it down into sections to the right, because if you had to draw all that in one go, it would be a bit scary. But because we've drawn the wheels, we know we just need to draw the base of our skateboard. And let's bring the back of our skateboard in. And then all we've got to do is do the round bit at the front of our skateboard and bring it in. Okay, now to make him look like he's speeding along a bit more, I would do some whoosh lines at the back, like this underneath, and also add a bit of shadow. Some whooshy whoosh lines. It just makes it look like he's speeding along a bit. All right, now there we go. That is my first part of the doodle. Now it is doodle time okay now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a hat to mine now i could add a silly top hat or anything but i think it's gonna be quite a cool he's quite a cool sausage this guy so i'm gonna draw a cap like this so start accessorizing your skateboarding sausage okay there's my cool cap he might have a sticker on it on the front with his name on speedy speedy sausage so yeah, while you're drawing this, think of what you would like to draw. I'm going to keep looking on Instagram to see what ideas you're coming up with. And because he's a super sausage dog, maybe I'll give him a, a whooshy cape. Oh, that'd be quite cool. Look, a cape, a bit like a superhero. What else do superheroes have? Oh, now Superman, he wears his pants on the outside of his, um, his uniform, doesn't he? His outfit. So let's bring this round and let's give him some... Not Superman pants, but let's give him some spotty pants. Spotty pants. Super speedy spotty pants. There we go, something like that. And then he might have a cool vest on as well. So let's give him a vest. Draw a line there and bring this line round to there. <laughs> okay. And then just do some doodles. So again, from yesterday, I did some rainbowy doodles. Rainbows are very cool right now and very important right now. And also they really encourage using color. Rainbows instantly add color. So let's give them a rainbowy vest up here. More rainbow vest there. And another, I love drawing stars. Let's draw a star there, it's starting to look cool. We can put some zigzags on his collar, for example. And then maybe he's got something on his skateboard as well. Okay, so maybe I will go rainbow mad down here as well. So just break it up like this. You can take your time. And there we go, all the way to the back. A bit like the shark fins I did on the funky footwear yesterday. 
there we go. This is gonna be a really good one to color in because there's a lot, we've left lots of nice gaps, but there's enough doodles going on to make it look interesting. There we go, just keep filling in those spaces. The more you fill in, the easier it is to color. Because also that's gonna be a bit of a boring bit there, isn't it? So let's do some more doodles in here. I'm gonna do some wavy doodles. On what do dogs like to eat? He might have some kind of motifs. It might be a longer t-shirt. So let's give him a bone motif there. And then we can just copy that, bring it further out and further out. And let's do it again. Further out, further out. There we go, see this way, it's like an echo, an echo of the inside shape. There we go, that's quite cool. And then let's just add some more stripes and maybe some dots. Here to add to our doodle. So there we go, that is my Doodle 2 skateboard sausage. I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. Different hats, different outfits, different pants. Maybe he's got a longer curly tail, cool different skateboard shapes, lots of whooshy lines. Get loads of action and fun going in there, guys. And I can't wait for you to share them on hashtag doodle time. So how did you get on drawing our super speedy, silly sausage dog on a skateboard? It's very tricky to say. I hope you found it a bit easier to draw than it is to say. And please do share them again uh, using the hashtag doodle time. Make sure you're subscribed to the Strings and Things channel. And most importantly of all now is I am listening to you. I want to draw what you want to draw. So please send in your ideas on Instagram and all the social media channels and we will look at your ideas and we will choose accordingly which things over the coming weeks every Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday at 3 p.m. on this channel the things that you want to draw. We are going to doodle your doodles and then everyone around the world can see what you're up to and we can all send in and share all our own individual ideas and just have some fun. I hope you're having a great time. I certainly am. So I'll see you here tomorrow again at 3 p.m. Looking forward to it guys. Take care. Bye.